Terry Lee Jones and I'm head of Maltings Academy. Firstly, I just want to say thank you for entrusting your child to Maltings Academy in terms of their education and their pastoral supports. We're very much looking forward to welcoming them. At Maltings, we live and breathe our academy values of being unusually brave, discovering what's possible, pushing the limits and being big hearted so that every child in our care can be inspired to lead a remarkable life and be equipped with the skills to do so. In this video, you'll hear from all of the key people who will play a part in your child's transition to Maltings Academy. Those people will be the key people who look after your child, who will oversee their educational provision and be points of contact throughout their transition and moving through the years in the Academy. I hope you find it useful and we're very much looking forward to working with you in the coming years. Hello, my name is Mark Slatter, Deputy Head Teacher, and I'm in charge of Curriculum and Standards. First of all, I too would also like to welcome you and your child to Morton's Academy. Our curriculum and setting is based on a broad, balanced and ambitious curriculum. Students in Year 7 follow a curriculum route based on their ability. We also, as well as the mainstream curriculum, have a rapid progress group for Year 7 students who in the first instance have some areas of the curriculum where they don't access immediately. They will have uh, an opportunity in certain subjects and be to be taken out of those subjects and then put into mainstream lessons as necessary. We fully ensure that students receive data captures. We have free data captures during the course of the year, which informs your, you and your, and your child in terms of their progress and attainment during the course of the year. Students in Year 7 follow a Key Stage 3 curriculum, which is over three years. When they hit Year 9, students follow an Options Pathway, which is a guided pathway option, which is bespoke to the individuals. And then in Year 10 and 11, students undertake GCSE or equivalent courses to suit their particular interests, needs and aptitudes. As I say, the key message about our curriculum is that it's diverse and big, ambitious and it's challenging for all learners. In relation to homework, this is set via our Google cl Classroom facility. Students will have a schedule of homework where they follow this every evening and it really is focused on independent learning and developing their resilience and their ability to retain information in terms of the good practices that's been undertaken in the classroom. Homework is regularly reviewed by the SLT and there is an also an opportunity for extension work for students to follow as well. With regard to our website, there's a range of resources and key links available in terms of curriculum and assessment and I would encourage you to use those links whenever available. And finally, in relation to student voice, we very much harness the personal development as well as the academic attainment of the children in our care and it's focused around our student leadership of our key drivers in terms of pride, empathy, resilience, creativity and responsibility. We very much uh, encourage and want our students to develop the opportunity to shape what their academy looks like in terms of not only the life of the academy but many many features of things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. I very much uh, look forward to working with you and your child here at Maltings over their five-year or seven-year journey and we look forward to seeing them in September. It was a great privilege to be recently appointed to this role. We are both passionate about the core values of the school, responsibility, pride, empathy, creativity and resilience. When transitioning from Year 6 to Year 7, I must say I was nervous joining a new school and starting from the beginning again. However, I managed to face this fear as I knew that my friends for so many years were attending the same school and were going to join me through this journey at Maltings. During the induction days, I managed to feel at ease as I had a great opportunity to look around the school and get to know it thoroughly before joining. I felt very welcomed by students and staff and was less nervous to join Year 7 as I was already familiar with the school and the environment. When you progress through the years, you get the chance to apply to many different roles throughout the school. Firstly, when you get to Year 10, you can apply for the student leader role, where you will be separated into groups and work around one of the five core values that was mentioned earlier in the video. If you're successful, and you are named one of the student leaders, you'll be given the chance to interview for head student and deputy head student. In these roles, you are given a chance to build a stronger bond with the SLT and the rest of the teachers, and you are given a larger voice around the decisions made to change the school. 
Moulton's Academy offers all sorts of extracurricular activities that anyone can choose from and be suited to. These activities include sports such as football, netball, basketball, athletics, rounders and even more after school and even before school. For anyone who is not as interested in sport, we offer other extracurricular activities like music sessions for anyone who wants to learn a new um, instrument and art activities. The library is also open from early in the morning and after school for anyone who wants to do some study sessions as there are re resources available such as computers and laptops. Personally, for me, I've always attended sports ses sessions as they're always fun and I always have a good time with my friends. When you first start Maltings Academy in Year 7, it will seem like a big scary school but you'll get used to it. You may get lost but these things can happen. I can remember when I was in Year 7, I was lost and I couldn't find my class. But when I found it, I apologised to the teacher and they were very understanding of the situation. However, for this problem to not happen, you'll be given a timetable at the start of the term telling you which lessons you have and where. Our curriculum includes all different lessons and there is a lot to choose from when it comes to choosing your options. We have the basics like maths, English, science, geography and history, but also other fun subjects you may enjoy such as music, PE, computer science, design and technology, art and more. For anyone who may be bilingual in a different language or wants to learn a new language, we offer other languages other than Spanish and French for the GCSE. When moving to Moulton's Academy, you'll have two tutor sessions in the day. One in the morning for 10 minutes and one in the afternoon for half an hour. In the morning, the main purpose of the session is for registration and for checks such as uniform and equipment. However, there is a timetable of activities to do in the afternoon sessions. On Monday, it is known as Mirror Monday, where the class reflects on last week and they look at the perfect weeks from students. On Tuesday, every year we will have an assembly, whether it is in real life in the hall or on a, online on a Google Meet. On Wellbeing Wednesday, each year group will look at different wellbeing topics to help improve your wellbeing and mental health. On Thursday, you will look at the personal development curriculum. This includes looking at living in the wider world, relationships and sexual education, and emotional health and wellbeing. To support this, students will have a one hour lesson every fortnight to support this work. And finally on Friday, it's up to the tutor group what they do, whether it is a tutor project or a topical quiz. The choice is yours. We hope this information has been useful. We wish your child good luck for when they join Martin's Academy. Good evening. I wanted to give you all a warm welcome to our Year 6 virtual evening um, today. It's such a shame that we can't actually have a live evening. However, it is small steps getting back to the interaction and working with parents in the transition for students coming to Mortings Academy. My name's Lou Craker and I'm the Primary Liaison Manager. And any questions or concerns that you have between now and September, please don't hesitate in contacting me. If there's a change in the family, medical issues, or anything that might affect your child's learning or experiences, please let us know so that we can put support in place ready for that. In a perfect world, nobody would have anything happen over the summer holidays. But if anything does, please let me know so that we can put in the support for for them and ease that experience and help them through it. We'll be updating you with different information that we need um, and that will be continually throughout the summer term. But any questions between now and then, please email me. Don't sit and worry at home and a small worry for a child can become a massive issue. So email me and we can sort it out before it gets to that point. Hello there, my name is Mr Kilver and I'm one of the assistant head teachers at Maltings Academy. There are a number of members of our personal development team. The most important member of that personal development team is the tutor. The role of the form tutor is absolutely vital. It's that first point of contact for all students across the academy. It's the person that oversees students' academic progress as they make that seven year journey with us from year seven, and we hope all the way through to Whitton Sixth Form. They're there for the emotional and social needs, but they're also there for the delivery of our personal development curriculum. In addition to that form tutor, there are our heads of year, and our heads of year are there to support our tutor team in order to make sure that everybody has a fruitful and happy experience at Maltings Academy. And we have strategic directions from directors of Key Stage. As I mentioned, the tutor is one of the most important people in the academy. They are that first point of contact. 
There will be some people that will want to be in tutor groups with their friends from primary school. And whilst that might be the case in some instances, we really want to take the young people out of their comfort zone. The tutor time makes up a small part of the day. Students are going to be mixed in a variety of different classrooms across the academy. And we look forward to welcoming them through the doors so they can get to know their new tutees in order to make sure that they can gather that collective identity together as a team and as a tutor group. Hi, I'm Mrs Baldwin and I'm the Pastoral Support Manager here at Maltings Academy. In my role, I work with all the year groups alongside the heads of year. I do not have a teaching timetable, which means I'm often around for parents and students when their head of year isn't. One of my main jobs is to help resolve issues amongst peer groups. Young people often perceive conflict with their friendship groups as bullying and that can have a detrimental effect on their well-being. My aim is to help sort it out, nip it in the bud with the problems they're experiencing so that they continue to feel safe and happy at school. Within my role, I also liaise with agencies such as health workers, family support teams, social services, young carers and the school nurse. I also arrange appointments with young people, with our school counsellors, and in my role as the Deputy Designated Safeguarding Lead, I deal with any day-to-day -day safeguarding issues that arise. If you do have any concerns about your child's welfare, you can contact me or their head of year here at the Academy. My name is Mrs Hicks. I am the Wellbeing Coordinator at Maltings Academy. I work with staff and students. This means I offer support as well as give information on the help that is available if there are any concerns or issues with your child. If at any point your child is experiencing anything that concerns you with their mental health or their well-being, you can email me at the academy, you can talk to the child's tutor or the child's head of year. We have different avenues that we explore to find the right support for your child.